We're going to present Spencer with a trophy, basically just for his services to non-league football. Um, Andrew, our club president, is actually going to present him with that. Right, Spencer, this is for you, just for services to non-league football, for shedding light on a grassroots game in a way that's never been done before. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, no, very nice you. Of you. So Spencer, do you have any, anything to say about, you know, about the trophy and about you know how it's going with hashtag yeah um well first of all thank you very much very nice of you guys didn't expect this um we're obviously new to non-league football ourselves hashtag united but um very much want to play a part and help and add to the fantastic work that the clubs and volunteers and all the many many people across the country do to keep non-league going uh certainly don't think we deserve a trophy just yet i think we're new but we're obviously trying our, our best but i appreciate the sentiment um myself have been involved in non-league for a fair bit um, with involvement in clubs like East Thurrock uh, going back with and so I know Jay and my dad's involvement in the club so big fan of obviously the, the non-league and yeah very nice of you to present me with this um, as uh, as regards to the game today yeah it's a bit of a roller coaster wasn't it um, I thought we started really well took the lead and I thought we looked the better side but then last sort of 20 minutes or so of the first half uh, Cogshaw were all over us uh, particularly down the, 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 the flanks and I was actually quite worried even at 2-1 I thought they could if they played the way they finished we were going to be in real trouble um, don't know what Dev said at half time but it seems to have worked we came out for me we dominated that second half took a while to get the goals but when we did get those two late goals it's going to be a horrible one for, for the Cogshaw lads to take but it's nice for us to be on the, on the end of a game like that because we've had a few games at the start of the season that have gone that way against us. So, um, yeah, really happy with the result and hopefully more to come for Hashtag. So what is your aspirations for the season? Um, aspirations this season, they're not, not too much pressure really being put on the lads uh, or certainly not on the management football-wise because it's such a, a transition season for us. You know, Devs has been given a pretty hard task because... Um, you know, most managers at this level, they'll come in, they'll bring a load of players with them, they'll, they'll reinvent the squad. And I've given him a load of players that he's inherited um, from our kind of what we call chapter one. And he's been really good at, at, at working with those boys and sort of seeing who's got the potential to play because they have to be good enough still. It's not about giving people time if they can't compete. But a lot of our team, like a significant percentage of our team hasn't played at this level before. So it's a real test and a lot of them can. But some of them we're finding out slowly maybe it's a bit too too much of a, of a step up for them. So we're still ironing those things out. Devs have brought in some, some good players, but um, the large part of the core of the squad is still not that experienced at this level. So in terms of expectations, it's really just to see where we are. See where we are up against the kind of teams that we're playing. For me, we've been in every game we've played, which has been fantastic to see. We haven't been you know, wiped the floor with uh, yet. I'm sure it will happen eventually. Um, so we're, we're happy about that. Love to get as many points as we can, see where we are at the end of the season and then, and then plan accordingly. But yeah, for us, it's really just a, a first season kind of a test of the water and see, see where we are. Long term goal really for hashtag is is to to first and foremost uh, keep and grow out our amazing fan base. You know we're really lucky for the the size of the club we are and the level we play at. We've got an extraordinary size fan base um, online and, and we're starting to slowly get that in person as well. Um, so that's the first and foremost goal is, is to keep that going and keep making content and covering the story because I think it is an incredible story what we've done uh, as as best we can. Yeah. Obviously, on pitch, we want to improve. We want to get better. We want to play at the, and find our level, which we still don't know what that is yet. We know that we can get better, and we know that we probably can attract some, some good players if we really want to. We, we, we kind of um, try and become the best team we can be. Um, for me, ultimately, I want to create a sustainable football club. You know, we've, we've, got, we've got some great partners, some great sponsors um, for the level we play at, and it allows us to... You know, we do have a lot of costs as well that I think a lot of people don't understand. So it's certainly not a club. But we, we haven't got loads and loads of money to spend, but we want to come in at this level and find our level, be sustainable. Someone said to me, like, would you rather have hashtag climbing up the leagues to being in League 2 in 10 years and then it all falls apart, or would you be playing in and around this level for you know decades? I'd, I'd take the latter because I want us to be sustainable. I want us to prove there's a different way of creating a business model for a football club that isn't necessarily... Uh, you know, go for it, bang or bust. You know, you don't have to have a two-year plan. If it all goes wrong, you stop. We want to always be the best we can be on the pitch. We'll always make improvements, but we don't want to also just be here for a short-term kind of adventure and then it all go away. You're seen as something as of an innovator. If you read the national press, if you go on websites, you are seen as an innovator. What sort of innovations have you got this season that you could tell us about? Well, I mean, we've taken on a big challenge of hashtag specifically this year, and first and foremost, our goal is just to, to adapt, you know, because it is a big adaptation behind the scenes in terms of content as well. We're making more content we've made before, covering these things in the best way. We've got some more content plans which hopefully will roll out, which will sort of 
show this story that we're part of in the best possible light I think uh, to support the content we're already making um, you know we've got an esports team as well which, which uh, probably is a not a familiar term to a lot of non-league people but it's a professional gaming division we have with guys and one of the lads was here today actually uh, Harry supporting the boys and these guys yeah, some of them are actually good footballers as well and um, some of them playing out our Sunday team as well which is what I've been demoted to <laughs> and um, uh, so we're going to keep playing on that side as well but yeah we've always got things up our sleeve and with things we can try um, we've had we've seen some tremendous uh, um, results from, from our Hashtag Academy series, which is a series we did last year where we found a load of players, some of which were playing today, some of which were on the bench, one of which had been training with Northampton Town, you know, he could end up with a contract there, which would mean, you know, that's an amazing kind of thing, the opportunity that he's gained from being on our series. So all these things and more, you know, we want to keep offering opportunities to players that, that, that are the right kind of players that do us proud, that do non-league proud. And um, yeah, we've always got things up our sleeve, but they have to stay there for now. Certainly, yeah. Look forward to welcoming you to our, our home pitch uh, later in the season, and yeah, I'm sure it'll be another tough game.